Hola amigos, Dr. Labrunaki. In today's video, I'm going to help you prepare for the California Subject Examination for Teachers Spanish Subtest Number 3. So let's break down the test part by part and then look at ways that you can practice. So in today's video, subtest number three covers communication in Spanish, reading, writing, speaking, speaking and listening. It's going to take you about two hours and 15 minutes. It's going to cost you $99 and you're looking for a passing score of 220. All right, vamos a empezar aquí. All right, so the first part is the speaking or oral expression. There's going to be two short speaking responses. And the best way to pre prepare for speaking is just to get out there and speak. So try to practice your Spanish in the community or with your family members or friends. Or maybe there's a university where you can practice at the round table with the Spanish club or um, check out a church service where you can hear it in Spanish and uh, practice speaking with other people there or just immerse yourself wherever you can maybe you can travel to a Spanish speaking country and practice your Spanish skills there that's the best way to practice speaking is by speaking all right, up next is the listening portion. There's going to be 15 multiple choice questions and then one constructed response from something that you hear. So the best way that you can practice listening is by listening. And here's a variety of ways that you can do that. There's a site called SpanishListening.org and there's Spanish speakers from around the Spanish speaking world and they answer questions for and they speak for about 30 to 60 seconds on a variety of prompts. Um, if you're going to watch a movie, why not set it onto the Spanish audio or Spanish subtitles um, check out news weather radio on the internet in spanish and then also listening to music in spanish is a great way to practice listening reading the more that you read the better that you get so there's gonna be 15 multiple choice questions and again one more constructed response based on something that you read so um, go to your local library check out books even children's books are going to help you practice reading um, there's a website called the National Spanish Exam.org. You can practice reading, listening, vocabulary, and grammar on this site. And I'm going to put a link to this website in the comment section below, and you can click on that and check that out. And then also elpais.com. It's a newspaper coming from Spain. So again, the more that you read, the better you're going to get at that. Also, magazines have short articles similar to what you're going to see on the test. And what I like about the magazines are the advertisements. They've got a picture with a catchy slogan to go along with them. All right, and then there is writing. And there's going to be one short response and one longer response that you need to answer. And they're going to ask your opinion on something like uh, quinceañeras. Are they good? Are they bad? Are they um, in, the, in between? Um, what do you think about recycling? Can you think of benefits of learning a second language? Do you think children should have cell phones? So they're going to give you some type of prompt, and one is going to be a shorter writing prompt, and one's going to be an extended response. All right, that's it, folks. Gracias por mirar. Um, click subscribe for access to all of my Spanish test prep videos. All right, buena suerte en tu examen. Ciao. Adios.